two years of experience, but that those two years gave, gave me an invaluable experience. I worked on tax returns, I did a small business write up. But I think what's really important from an audit perspective is I went to, you know, I went to the client by myself. I mean, there would be a doctor's house to do their, you know, small business write-up. But the, the value that you get there are the client relationship skills. And I'll tell you that was another huge part of my path to partner was as a manager, the senior manager, I owned my client relationships where the transition to partner was seamless from the partners that I took over, you know, clients from. So those skills too are something you really you know want to focus on. It's not emailing, getting face to face in front of clients. In this environment, it's all email. And, and for those of us that are you know my age and older, we we grew up where we didn't have email when we were in the field. You know we didn't have the internet when we were with staff and seniors. And it's a different environment now. But we had those skills. And we fall into it too where we can send emails. But I always find picking up the phone or making a face to face meeting is invaluable with my client relationship. I want to make a comment that I could have went when I got out of school to take job tests. They were begging me to go there. I went to a medium-sized firm that had 13 partners, five offices around in the country, but their major client was North American Fox Corporation. I did my research and also Hazel team back when, and I got a good experience. My cousin, he went to uh, Pete Marks. What did he do? He was midnight in a ball carrying securities. And I got no around it. I learned a lot of stuff. So I had to make a choice, but I knew I was going into private industry. Now, public accounting to me was more like going into professional any sport, like professional baseball. How many people make it to the big leagues or the partnership level? They burn you out. First two years, you work so many hours and you get disgusted. And what happens? You become a salesman, you sell Xerox equipment. You know, also just, you know, coming from the other side of the fence now, not in public accounting anymore, but, you know, I'm actually in the nonprofit world. I think one of the things that's very important when you're working, when you, whether you're providing the audit services, is that um, from a client's perspective too, is really learn, really understand the business that you're on. Just don't go in there for the numbers piece. Really try to understand the other side of that because that's not only going to help you gain, um, build up a relationship with the clients that you're working with, but it helps you later on when you want to get on the other side and you want to build up your reputation or, or your specialty in a specific field. You have to know the whole business. Don't just know the little fiscal piece. You need to combine what, what is that business? What do they really do? What else is going into it? You have to have an understanding of everything, we not just one side of it. Yeah, it's hard to believe that. It's very difficult to believe that, to believe that but it's really true. To your point about one person sitting in a wall carrying securities until midnight, and another person having a great experience of working on the Asian team or working on Garago or American Builds Corporation, everybody here is responsible for their own development.
Anybody else? Oh, my name is Judith Fresh. 